Hello guys, this is Silver Fox A and in this particular tutorial or the video I intend to share with you how you can connect to a VPS or let's say digital ocean droplet using PuTTY on Windows system. I'm planning to cover most of the server and infrastructure related tutorials on the topics mostly. So please do subscribe and like support me to keep working on this project. Click this bell icon to stay updated on when I post new video tutorial content. For this project, I'm assuming you are aware of DigitalOcean and I would assume that you are logged in or have an account, right? Or you can opt in for AWS or anything of that sort. Probably just have a VPS where you have an IPv4 address. So for example, we are going for DigitalOcean, so you need to know how it works, right? So they have something called distribution where you get the OS. Then you have a one-click app. So that's basically they have it configured. So let's say LAMP, they have the LAMP stack enabled and or PHP MyAdmin. But let's say for this, I'll just start off with a scratch uh, or the distribution that is the OS. So you select Ubuntu and 18.04. So currently that's the latest one. Now out of this plan that you can opt in for whatever you are comfortable with or uh, as per your business requirement. I'll go off with a minimal one because for this demo, I don't need much more than that. Now data center is a decent, st okay, this is a backup. So in case if you want to keep uh, digital ocean backing up your content. Now the data center is really important. So you need to have select one which is nearest to you or else the latency will vary. So these are other set of attributes that uh, digital ocean will provide you. Right, just opt in for whichever you want. <clears throat> okay, once you're done, click on create. Probably you can change the host name if required. That's the name of the droplet. <clears throat> once you click on create, um, DigitalOcean will do some certain sort of configuration to uh, push your OS up and running. <clears throat> and well, they, once this process gets completed, what they will do is they will send you a mail with the uh, user, root user and the password, right? So this is the one. Now you need to change that and probably they, not probably, but they will even ask you to change it in the first attempt. Okay, in order to connect uh, to a droplet on Windows system, we need something called PuTTY. Now, this is basically a SSH client so that will let you interact with the, you know, with the, with the server. So if you go to the download section, you'll get a package file and you'll get a binary file. So whichever you are comfortable, I'll probably ask you to go for the binary ones. So that's the easiest way to get it sorted. But then again, anyone, anyone of this would work, right? Just download right? based on your system architecture. Okay. Once you're done on install, you'll probably see a terminal like this, right? Here uh, you can fill in the host name that is basically the IP address and port number remains the same. Okay. Go back to your uh, digital ocean droplet and check out the IP address. Copy paste the same on your SSH config uh, sorry putty configurations. Check SSH checkbox. Once you're done, you can probably save uh, this so that you can access it later on or simply just click on open right okay this will basically ask you to save click on yes so you are in the terminal that will ask you for the username right so by default it's root when you just created your account right this is the root and the password okay you can copy i'm not sure whether i'll be able to paste uh-huh okay on putty I don't think I can paste map nope. that's the most irritating part of all I don't want to write all <laughs> that lengthy string okay so let me try once more Okay, so you can't. So you probably have to type in the entire password. Okay. Just type it in. Keep typing. You need to ensure that you are not typing some wrong, wrong character. If you do that, you have to repeat the entire process. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm there. So now they'll ask you to re-enter and then add a new password. Do the same stuff. Type it in. Probably if you can paste, then you paste. On hotel to get this paste option. Okay, enter your new password and confirm. Then, so you are you are inside your uh, uh, not inside, but uh, you have access to your droplet using the CLI. Now, what you can do is uh, you can go to let's say the var directory, but that would show error because we don't have Apache installed. So we'll install the Apache using this command. See so if we have to get install Apache two. That means it's installing Apache version two, right? Now. Once that is sorted, what you can do is you can use this IP address, open up a new tab maybe, and key it in, so that you can see, see right, so the Apache 2 is installed. Now what I will do is, we will go to the var direct, uh, www directory, now if you, if you are there, you will see the HTML, right, so that means uh, the file has been created, the, the default dummy one, we will just replace this index to a new one that we will create, right, just, just to show you that it is working fine okay now it says okay so it's outputting entire php because of the php stuff isn't installed key in sudo apt get install php 7.2 that will install 7 once that process is done just uh, restart the server and hit back to that uh, same url it will start working in case if you like the content in the video or it's helpful and informative and are for you Please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon which will keep you updated when I post new set of content or the videos.